I got to ask you about Bitcoin. Uh, you recently received approval for a Bitcoin futures ETF. And of course, everyone still speculating endlessly that the SEC may someday approve a spot Bitcoin ETF. Maybe this year, maybe not. Uh, now, what's interesting is the SEC's approval letter, letter to you uh, contained a footnote which you believe clearly spells out what the Bitcoin community needs to do to get approval for that spot Bitcoin ETF. What did what was said in this letter to you? The SEC clearly laid out in footnote number 46 for those who, who are looking at the document where they want the crypto exchanges to mimic the other exchanges in that they have a comprehensive surveillance agreement, meaning they're watching for bad actors. The SEC is all about investor protection. They're, they know there are bad actors out there. They want to be able to spot them. So they've clearly spelled out that if the crypto exchanges put in those surveillance agreements and then institute those comprehensive surveillance agreements with the ETF listing exchanges, they will get a crypto spot ETF. I don't think it's going to happen because I don't see why those big crypto exchanges would want to centralize when the whole industry is right. made up of the, the decentralized exactly. concept. They've set up, a, I mean, this is a real problem. You, you, isn't this the problem? That, that this centralizes a business that's supposed to be decentralized, right? I mean, why would crypto exchanges agree uh, to submit themselves to the regulation the SEC says they want when the purpose is to be decentralized. It's, I, I don't know, it's a con conundrum. It, it is, and really the people who want to spot Bitcoin ETF for ease of access to ETF, they're the people that are getting shortchanged here because nobody has a motivation um, to, to, to centralize themselves that's in the crypto industry. So it's a conundrum. I don't see it getting solved this year or even next. We'll see what happens. Yeah, and what's interesting, of course, uh, I've had the people who run the uh, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, uh, there have been threats from them uh, that they may sue the SEC if they don't approve a spot Bitcoin ETF. I mean, what are the chances that would succeed? That would take years anyhow, right? That's right. It would take years. And again, the SEC, they're, they're not going to succumb to that kind of pressure. What they are all about is investor protection, rightfully so. They're going to stick to their guns unless you get a change in leadership who have a sea change in how they're looking at things. And right now they're looking at they want to see crypto coins uh, completely surveilled. And, and that I don't see how that's going to happen. And the SEC, I don't see how they're going to back down from that when they're all about investor protection. So you, uh, I hate to make you handicap this, but you, it seems you're saying the chances are pretty nil, pretty small for any kind of spot Bitcoin approval this year. I would say under current leadership because they've, they've drawn a red line in the sand. So unless something fundamentally changes, I don't see it happening.